Hey gang, it's Menardo Rob here, and it's the fourth week of January, and it's time for our fourth hunt of half dollars. We're averaging uh, a hunt a week. First week was four boxes, and this next two weeks were two boxes each, and we have two boxes again today, and we've managed to get uh, silver out of every hunt. Let's see if we can keep that streak going. Alrighty. And my assistant is right here. He's not happy because he's going to the vet tomorrow and getting his teeth cleaned. So he can't have any food from now till tomorrow morning. So he's not a happy camper. But anyway, guys, here's our two boxes for the week. And uh, let's get this one open. And... Uh, We have not found a silver ender yet. Maybe, maybe not. Let's get the light down here. Oh, guys, I don't see anything on the top. So we'll take these out and flip them around. All right. Oh, guys, I don't see any silver enders on this set. We'll go ahead and flip them over and check them. Alrighty guys, no apparent silver enders, so we're going to get started on the top uh, top set. Here is roll one. And we got a couple shiny ones, maybe an NIFC, but none that see any silver. Nope, that's just a bicentennial. I find it found a bicentennial uh, quarter today. Metal detecting. I don't find too many of them, but probably that's one of my fewest few ones I've ever found. All right, on to roll two. And in roll six, we have our first counter stamped coin. It has an H on it. Don't know why. Okay. All right, guys, there is uh, the first half of box one, and we don't even have an NIFC. Nothing. Okay. Let's hope this half is better. Well, gang, eight rolls into the second half of the box. We finally get an NIFC 2002. All righty. All right, gang, this is box 10 of the new year. Box two of two for this week's hunts. We got no silver in box nine, and those are the only two finds we made. One NIFC and one counter-stamped coin. Actually, a pretty sad box. So... Oh, well, look at that. That's that's a first coming from a bank. We got rolled, and we have three handheld rolls. Wow, isn't that interesting? Isn't that special? All right, let's go through these and see if we get any silver. All right, guys, I think I actually see a silver down here. I want to show you something. It's my shocked face. Yep, I'm going to say that's a silver, guys. I could be wrong. I've been wrong a lot before. So, we'll see. All right. All righty, guys. Let's go ahead and start with the one that I think might be silver. Of course, now the more I look at it, the more I think it's not, but... Hey, if it is, we start the box off right. And then we'll get into those hand rolls. I have never seen hand rolled halves inside of a sealed box from a regional bank before. Ooh, it might be. It might be. Did Rob finally get a silver ender? 66. Yes, that is a silver ender, guys. Our first silver ender in 10 boxes this year. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be the uh, fourth set of boxes I've gotten where we have not got shut out on each week's hunt. Boom. We have our first silver from box 10. That is awesome. All right. We'll double check these, but we know we got a 66 to start the box. Boom. The pressure is off this entire box. Alrighty, gang, just for S&G, let's go ahead and go through these hand rolls. I mean, it would be phenomenal if somebody rolled up all silvers, but I'm not expecting that. But I've never seen a bank hand roll 
or put in hand rolled halves as opposed to machine rolled. What? Alrighty guys, nothing in that one. And roll number two. Hand roll. This always goes well with one hand. I'm not expecting any silvers in these guys. It would have been too easy for somebody to check these being hand rolled. A very pretty bicentennial. Nope, on to number three. And the third of the hand rolled rolls. And maybe an NIFC. Nope, that's a bicentennial. And 86. Alrighty, we'll start going back to uh, the regular rolls. Well, gang, I'm in roll 15. I almost missed silver here. You've got one of these that the people paint that makes it look like it's silver. But then you have this one here that's just a little darker. And there we go, guys. A 69, a second 40 percenter. And we have gotten one NIFC. So two silvers and an NIFC. Boom. Well, guys, I am on the last roll of the first half of the box. And I was ready to say, well, two silvers in the first half of the box isn't bad. Hope we can get two more out of that box. And there, guys, I undo the last roll. And that looks like a 90 percenter, guys. That is awful shiny. Nope, another 40 percenter, a 68, but we will take that all day long. Three silvers, the first half of the box. Wow, that baby just stood out like a sore thumb. All right, we got the second half of the box to do, minus the three hand-rolled ones. All right, guys, we are 10 rolls from the end of the box. And look at that beautiful shiny rim there. I thought we had an NIFC for sure. And it's just a pretty 97. And guys... I was concentrating on that so much, I almost missed that coin, which is another 40% or 1967. And we've gotten a really ugly other NIFC, which gives us two of those. I'm sorry, three of those and four silvers. One, two, three, and four silvers. Outstanding. And three NIFCs. All right, we got nine rolls left to go. All right, you guys, I don't know if this is one of those painted ones or if this is going to be silver. I'm hoping it's going to be silver. Yes, I could hear the tinking noise. Look at that. Second to last roll. Boom, a 69 air. Fifth 40 percenter. All right, let's see if there's anything else in this roll. That is awesome, guys. All right, this is awful shiny. Do we have an NIFC? No, just a real nice 1990. 88. And Bicentennial. Okay. Since we got the camera rolling and we just got silver, our fifth of the box, which is phenomenal. Let's do the last roll. And for a second, I thought that might be silver, but it does not. Alrighty, guys, we're going to see if there's NAFCs, and then we're going to show you the wrap-up. This was a great two-box hunt. Alrighty. Alrighty, gang, here is the wrap-up for this two-box hunt. We got uh, five NIFCs, five 40% silvers, 67, 68, 69D, 66, and 69D. We'll now show you the cumulative totals for the year. Alrighty, folks, here is the cumulative totals for the first eight boxes that we've hunted. I did make one mistake here. I found that we had five NIFCs in box six that I forgot to add. So we will do that now and update to the correct numbers. Okay, here are the correct numbers after the eight boxes we added the five NIFCs and now the new totals for the year. And here are the new totals for 2022 through 10 boxes, 31 silvers, 68 NIFCs, four proofs, and we added one more miscellaneous bring in our total to three miscellaneous. Alrighty folks, thanks for watching.